totally insane morning and early afternoon. Uh, so I was working for two delivery companies at once. And while well, one company was almost non-existent for it, it threw some in right when I had, was really busy with the other ones. So juggling, speeding, in between, stuff. So I had one delivery from Boomers that I dropped off, well, I was supposed to drop off at 2045 address. And I get there and there's like only a 2047, something like that. And I call her and she goes, oh, I tried to get in touch and change it on the app and it wouldn't let me in. So, you know, because the GPS tracked where it's dropped off, so I had to click drop off and then I had to race across the freeway and go find the other end of it where she, she was like 3025 or something, I guess. And, you know, I go to the end of the road and um, start going up this driveway and I was like, no, this is not it. And so I... raced up there and um, hit some kind of traffic cone and got caught underneath my tire or underneath my car. So I wound up getting trouble getting that on stock and luckily found the customer dropped it off. But now my alignment seems all screwed up. So it's just never ending. Then the other delivery company sent me on one that I thought was going to be close and I wound up 10 miles north to Ferndale and I have to race 10 miles back from there right now to go do two pickups of flowers at um, Safeway for FTD in a row. So it's nuts. Uh, but I'm on my way. I think they just tried to call me to ask me what my ETA is, I guess. And two flower order pickups doubled up on that Safeway. I was, uh, I was very late. She was already on the phone with tech support to see if I was still going to take 7 the miles. And the person just left the house when I'm off. And then the other one was 7.8 miles away. Yeah. So I can't go over the speed limit. So it's just... You know, and then, you know, who knows with the, with how it's set up with the, um, the cone underneath my car, so there's that as well. Not been too great today.